It's no secret that Hollywood films are designed in part to champion European history and culture. They specialize in romanticizing or highlighting the achievements of European men and their descendants across the globe. I think most of us in the diaspora enjoy these films despite that obvious truth. Films like Troy, 300, Gladiator, and so much more. As a history enthusiast, I can't help but enjoy classics like this. But sometimes, when I rewatch this entertainment, I often wonder, what would we see if movies were designed to champion African men and their history in the same way? What up African Roaders, home team here and welcome back to another video of African history, culture, and worldview. My website Afrographics is available for resources on African history if you need it. Also, if you like this channel, you can support this content on Patreon.com. And with a word from my sponsors, there's a new social media platform dedicated to educating and uplifting our people. No longer do we have to be censored for speaking our truth. Our Black Truth is black owned and operated and a place where you can post your businesses and even monetize your content. You can download the app at Google Play or the App Store and you can visit the website at OurBlackTruth.com. Links to everything in the description box below. This video is designed to think about the possibilities for the future. The world is changing and people of African descent are beginning to create more opportunities for themselves by realizing the value of investing in our community. I'm hoping this video can be some inspiration for individuals seeking to tell a great African story. For the most part, Hollywood tends to highlight the positive traits of European men. Traits such as courage, strength, leadership, and glorious victories. Movies like these are no doubt entertaining. But I always wished our community was more intent on investing in films that tell our story in a similar manner. I truly believe that all people have a right to romanticize great moments in their history. We all know Hollywood enjoys funding movies based on the enslavement of black people, but oddly enough, despite the countless slave rebellions of our ancestors, rebellions that would no doubt make great films, individuals in that sphere seemingly refuse entry of that kind of historical genre, if you will. Unfortunately, the Western world seems more comfortable with people of African descent remaining in their supposed historical place. So I think the first movie we can create to set ourselves apart from the mainstream would be a premium budget movie about the Haitian Revolution. The Haitian Revolution was not only one of the greatest events in black history, but it was one of the greatest in the world. The Haitian Revolution was the only event in human history where formerly enslaved people rose up to defeat their enslavers going on to form a lasting state that even exists today. That has never been accomplished in human history, and so the fact that a film about this has yet to be created is pretty bizarre. The Haitian Revolution literally exemplifies courage, strength, drama, and glorious victory, and the film would be an excellent opportunity to champion the likes of its leaders like Dessalines and Toussaint Louverture. These men are one of the most important conquerors in black history, and the spirit of their righteous victory should be etched in the memory of modern film. Before the great empires of Rome and Greece, before the legendary names of Caesar and Alexander, before the legend of King Arthur, before the vast empire of Persia and the medieval might of the Mongols under Genghis Khan, a great conqueror king of Africa preceded them. His name was King Payanki of Kush. Popular movies would have African men and their descendants across the globe believe that we have no ancient past worthy of note, and that couldn't be further from the truth. King Payanki was a ruler who reigned in the region of northern Sudan, and in that time, it was largely referred to as Kush. He founded the first empire in Africa that originated in the southern region of the Sahara, or what some may consider so-called Sub-Saharan Africa. King Payanki conquered Egypt and restored it to what he considered the original Nile Valley religion and culture. This may have even been the first documented holy war in human history. He swept through Egypt having battles on the sea and on land. His legendary exploits are documented in his stella where he records exactly how he did it. The way he documented his victory and the overall confidence in his writing can be seen as classical African poetry. 
Hear what I have done in exceeding the ancestors. I am the king, the representation of God, the living image of our tomb, who issued from the womb marked as ruler, who is feared by those greater than he, whose father knew and whose mother perceived even in the egg that he would be ruler, the good God, beloved of the gods, the son of Re, who acts with his two arms, Payanki, beloved of Amun. His words are beautiful. We have a tendency to romanticize others who conquered Egypt like the Ptolemies and even the Romans, but we seem to forget that King Payanki and the Kushite dynasty did it way before them. Not only did he sweep through Egypt with relative ease, he also forgave his enemies and showed mercy. His dynasty literally built Egypt back up. And so, a modern film about King Payanki of Kush is long overdue. Thankfully, most people in the diaspora seem to be aware of Manzi Musa and the fact that he was the wealthiest man in human history. He also greatly enhanced the legendary city of Timbuktu, helping to establish its scholarly reputation and wealth. But aside from the fact that he obviously deserves a movie, I think a film about the mythological hero Memnon would be something new and refreshing. In ancient times, Memnon was considered to be a warrior king whose story was originally placed in various parts of the world, such as Asia or the Middle East. But over time, many writers associated him with Africa, calling him the Ethiopian. Ethiopia in this case being largely associated with Meroe or Nubia in general. Even though he fought in the Trojan War, it would be nice to create a new storyline for him in Africa. Perhaps a story about him ascending the throne or exploring some unknown world. Either way, ancient writers have already given us plenty to take from for an award-worthy film. All in all, there are plenty of great African men in history, whether they were real or mythical. Modern movies can certainly champion their stories just like they do others and bring balance to the often negative portrayal of black men as subservient, second-class humans. The milk toast demeanor modern films love to associate with black men just don't capture the full scope of our history. Well, I'm all out, guys. If you like these videos and want to help in its continued production, consider supporting the home team on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace. Hey, hey.